Hi, Tom here, welcome back. I'm gonna show you the simplest way to add Tailwind CSS to Django. Here's what the final product will look like. As you can see, this is our Django app rendering a page with Tailwind CSS in a nice masonry layout. So we'll create this app and I'll also show you how to do this using Tailwind CSS. Tailwind CSS, if you don't know, is a framework on top of CSS, which allows you to write CSS in, in a bit of a shorter way. It is then translated into CSS. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are on the written guide link in the description below, as usual. Let's go ahead and install our Django app. So I'm just here with a new virtual environment. And then, so pip install Django and python.env. And then we copy this in as well to create our app. And then we create an app called sim, as usual, and create a Django project. Okay, there they are, call sim, and then your manage.py. And then we're going to add sim and register it in the installed apps in core. Okay, so we'll go into settings and then go to installed apps. Install the apps and then add sim. Yeah. Cool. And now we're going to render our Django page with some unstyled images to which we'll then dress up with Tailwind CSS. So go to sim and then views and paste this in. So, and these are all sample images from Pixum, which is good, good for stock sample images. We're going to create a urls.py file in the sim folder in here. urls.py. Paste it in. Just see we render one our view there and then we need to update the our core urls to include the sim urls so go into as usual core urls paste this in and there's sim now next we're going to create the template that we're going to render standard stuff we go into sim and then create a templates folder in here and now we're going to create our home.html file with this content you can see it's a little bit long okay and so in here we create home HTML and then paste in that HTML. I'll walk you through this actually in a second. Let's run the server. Python manager if I run server. It's running. Don't worry about the unapplied migrations. Great. So that is what we wanted. It doesn't look quite like the finished product yet because it's not. So to run you through, actually, let's get it working first, and then I'll talk you through what the Tailwind is doing. Because at the moment, we've got Tailwind in our, these are Tailwind classes, yeah? but the Tailwind's not it's just text. The, the Tailwind CSS is not creating any CSS underneath. So we need to do that. And to do that, we're going to install Tailwind CSS, because as I said, we need to convert the Tailwind CSS that we've got at the moment in our HTML templates into CSS. The browser only reads CSS. And so we need something that's going to run whenever we make a change in our HTML to see the change and then convert that Tailwind CSS in HTML to real CSS or pure CSS. We're going to do it the simplest way, which is using the CSS, Tailwind CSS standalone CL, CLI. So, and you need to go to this GitHub link, which I'll correct this link here when released, when I put this out, and then choose your operating system here. I'm Mac. M1, so I, I choose that. And then we need to add this, add the operating system to the end of the curl link here. And then go into your, into your terminal, paste it in to download the CLI. Okay, downloaded. And now we should see it. Yeah, you can see it's there. And now we can rename it just for convenience because we're going to be calling it. So rename it, whatever it's called for you, call, just call it, rename it to sale tail in CSS. There it is. And then we need to make it executable which is this on Linux and Mac. Maybe it's something else on Windows. I don't think so. Though. Okay, we've now installed it. Pretty easy. Okay, so now we're here and we're going to create our Tailwind CSS config file. So copy this and then we're going to create, yeah, this essentially tells us we need this config file to tell it which, where our Tailwind is in our templates and then so that it can get that and then convert it to CSS for us. Okay, it's quite simple to do. Okay, so let's copy this. And so this is the command which is going to access the CLI that we've just created. Great, and now it should have created a config file in Tailwind CSS. There it is, and you'll see it pop up. There it is. We're going to give the pattern for where our templates are stored in HTML that Tailwind will then convert. So you can copy this and then paste it over. And yep, and so this goes to anything, templates, and then anything.html. So this means for any app we add with this format, this regex format, we will then, it will tell and will detect it. Great. Okay, now let's add this actual CSS, Tailwind CSS file. So we're going to create a static folder in Sim to store our Tailwind CSS, which is static. That's a static. And then what do we need to do? Create a CSS 
folder and then create one called input.css. And so copy this in. These are our Tailwind uh, elements. And now we're going to start our Tailwind Watcher. So this is, I'm explaining a little bit more, but here we're going to run the Tailwind CLI and we're going to keep this running always whenever you're developing and it will pick up the changes and it's going to convert anything in our input CSS to our output CSS. So let's copy that. And maybe it will, be, it will become a bit clearer as we go through it. Great, our watcher is now running. As you can see, it's very fast. And now if we go back to our server, which is still running for me, but you can go to it if it's, uh, yeah, type in that. And if it's not, photo good with refresh. That hasn't worked. Okay, <laughs> let's find out what the issue is there um, as we've just refreshed the server. So you can see we're running the watcher now, and then the watcher has generated this output CSS file with all the Tailwind as CSS, not as Tailwind CSS. And then we import that output here into our HTML. And so it then knows what a rounded LG, which is Tailwind syntax, what that CSS actually is, because it's imported as a class. Okay, and now we refresh our page, and there you go. So all that CSS is now activated. And if we go here, to look at that, those strawberries, we can see here that we have these Tailwind CSS classes, which are then converted into real CSS here. That's what that class means. And so that's pretty much it. But just to show you, give, to demonstrate a little bit more, so you can see I'll leave your watcher running. And then I make one change, let's say to this, I will, let's not make it rounded anymore. And this is photo one, so in the top light. And you can see uh, it's rebuilt. So it's seen that change that I've made because it's watching here our template, our files here, of which our template is one. It's seen that I've changed the tailwind. And now if we go back and refresh the page, you can see this <laughs> is no longer rounded. That's an extremely unclear example, but you can see that's no longer rounded. Let's make it a bit clearer. Let's change this to um, uh, border and then border, if I remember the syntax. Uh, let's just add more padding as well. PX5. Watch has updated. Refresh. And you can see there's a, a border there with some padding in between. So yeah, you get the point. And let's get rid of that as well. So that's it. As you can see, really simple. I, I just want to mention this again. A small mistake that you'll probably make that I've made lots of times in the past. This is a really nice setup with Django, really easy, but remember to run your watcher. What will happen is you'll make a, you'll come into your project maybe late at night, and then you'll make a change and you'll, re you'll refresh your page and you'll be like, why is this not changing? And the reason is because your watcher won't be running by that. You're making changes to the tailwind in your HTML classes here, but then it's not because your watcher isn't running, it's not being translated into CSS classes uh, and then coming out here in, in output. So yeah, bear in mind for that. And a few suggestions I make here are to add a, I'll tidy this up as well, but to add, you could add a watch command here to your manage.py so that every time you run manage.py, you run the watcher. Or you can add a nice compound configuration if you're using PyCharm, which are easy to do. And you, you go into ed edit configurations and then compound around somewhere here compound yeah and you can run multiple things at the same time so yeah that's it i hope that hope you found that really useful and as you can see it's really easy to do and i recommend this way using the cli because it's the neatest way rather than strapping in django tailwind or other particular packages just do it with this neat external package from tailwind so if you enjoyed this guide check out below for more content that i release weekly about django all for free and updates for my product photo designer which allows you to build django front end much much faster besides that i'm making more content weekly here are a few more videos all the best to you